You want me? You're gonna have to catch me. The Flash season premiere Tuesday, October 6th. Hey YouTubers, it's Charlie. Sound the alarm. There is new Flash Season 2 footage. It's not the official trailer, it's just a promo, but we do get to see one of the new characters, so here we go. If you didn't recognize him right away, this is Adam Smasher from the comics, which is interesting because he had a really big Justice Society run early on that Jeff Johns wrote on, which also brought in Vandal Savage as a big bad at a certain point. It's almost like The Flash, Arrow, and Legends of Tomorrow are doing Justice Society without calling it Justice Society. We also see a Flash signal, like a la Bat signal and Captain Cold in a, in a rather ambiguous fight scene. He could be trying to help Grant Gustin. This, this could be all in the same context from the same episode, or it could just be from some other scene. They have the real task of selling Captain Cold as an anti-hero, so he actually has to work with Team Flash a couple times before he goes on Legends of Tomorrow, and not in like the backstabby way that he did last season. So here was the original casting description for Adam Smasher. And because you don't see his face, the actor that they cast is Adam Copeland, The Edge, from WWE. I know everyone's thinking about WWE this weekend because Stephen Amell is going on SummerSlam. It's actually being hosted by Jon Stewart from The Daily Show. But the way the TV show is, is bringing Adam Smasher on, they describe him, one of the most powerful enemies we encountered this season. Adam Smasher has come to Central City to kill the Flash. His incredible strength and ability to grow to enormous size makes him more than a match for the Flash, and the entire Star Labs team will have to come together to find a way to defeat him. The name of the promo was Catch Me If You Can, so obviously Barry Allen's gonna have to run around fast enough so that Adam Smasher can't wrap his hands around him. If he did that, he's so strong that you just see like the Flash's head go popping off. I suppose in that scenario, the Flash could vibrate so fast that he would vibrate through Adam Smasher's hand, but I'll be interested to see if the TV show tries to do that. The weird thing though is that the Justice Society team that Adam Smasher was on when he was a hero was Jay Garrick's team. But here it looks like they're still on Earth 1. Earth 1 is our Earth, the one that we saw in Season 1. Earth 2 won't be something we'll see till Season 2. And if I haven't said it before, Jay Garrick is coming from Earth 2. But going all the way back in the comics, when Adam Smasher first appeared, his name was Nuclon. He's the godson of the Golden Age Adam, the person who was the Adam before Ray Palmer. Ray Palmer took the mantle from Al Pratt. He was born a metahuman. He just has control over his molecular structure. That allows him to grow in size. He can get denser. He can shrink down. The really crazy thing about his power is, is that as he grows, he's able to maintain constant density. Like he doesn't get less dense as he gets bigger, which is not the case for Ant-Man over in the Marvel Universe. But in order for Atom Smasher to be able to do that, his bones break and regrow. Like that's part of his ability. So as he's growing bigger, just imagine it being the most painful thing ever. Because he's not a villain in the comics, what I'm wondering is, is if they bring him on as a villain in the Flash TV show, and then he ends up being a hero by the end of the season, whether, whether or not he comes back on. He might just be a one-off appearance. Plastique was a good example of someone they just brought on for a very brief period and then killed off. So hopefully they don't kill Adam Smasher off, but let me know, what do you guys think about this? And what do you think about the Flash signal? I'm expecting a lot of Batman jokes from Cisco. Batman jokes without actually saying the word Batman. As for actual trailer, they might actually post something next week during the Vixen premiere. Maybe something that's like a full minute long. But as for that in Arrow, I'm expecting the full trailers to actually drop in the next couple weeks. If not during the Vixen premiere next week, which is actually next Tuesday, I'll, I'll remind everyone. It might be the week after that. Just to mention some cool Arrow news too. Paul Blackthorne, the actor that plays Quentin Lance, held up a Star City police badge. So Arrow is officially doing Star City. I'll be interested to see how they explain the rebranding in the context of the show. Like how, how all the citizens of Starling City are just going to be like, okay, let's just change the name of our city all of a sudden. It's going to be a lot of fun though. You guys have no idea. They're bringing some awesome people onto the Flash and Arrow this year. I'm really excited about Damian Dark on Arrow. So while you guys wait for that stuff to post, you can click here to learn all about Constantine coming on Arrow Season 4. They're going to be resurrecting Sarah Lance. And you can click here to learn about some of the new characters coming to The Flash Season 2. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Let's high five. I'll see you guys tomorrow.